Right, in this video what we're going to do is consider upgrading the controller firmware uh, which hasn't been updated for a long time to the current version. So new firmware gets released all the time and that fixes any bugs that may be there as well as introduce new features and when that happens previous firmware is no longer supported so users are always advised to upgrade to the latest firmware release and when you do that you should always be using the latest windows app because that's often updated to reflect any new features introduced into the firmware so if you're not using the latest windows app or the latest ascom drivers those aren't reflected so what about all your settings and your controller and your windows app and so on uh, what happens to them when you update the firmware? Well, in general, they should be retained. But if it's a major change of firmware, so maybe you're on version 2.10 uh, and you're upgrading to the latest 2.6x uh, version, then that may not be the case. So how do you save and restore your settings? Well, you could write them all down. So you could write all your firmware settings down. You could write all your Windows settings down. Reprogram the controller and then restore all those settings manually. But there is an easier way. So you can do that with the latest Windows app, which allows you to save and restore. But you should always use the very latest version of the Windows Focus or application to do this shouldn't be using an old one to do this should be using the latest right so here we are let's uh, connect up to our focuser at the moment and you notice we're on position 471 half steps max steps 18 2 and the version that i've currently got loaded on the focuser is 2.4.0 or 240 and that's quite an old one so what we're going to do and I'm using the latest Windows app which is 2388 uh, at this point in time so let's use the Windows app I've connected so let's go settings save save to file so it's press OK so what it will do now is it goes and it queries the controller first gets all the settings from the controller and then it writes all the settings of the Windows application to that file. And so now all that's finished and I can disconnect. So let me disconnect. And I'll just leave that sitting there. And let's go and have a look at, this is the latest firmware. Version 263 for the DRV8825 hardware 203. And let's just check. I've got a probe. I've got push buttons. I've got an LCD display etc and I've got backlash right so let's reprogram the controller with the latest version 263 so that'll compile and once it's compiled it will then upload that new firmware into the controller now if you've got the power on reset uh, circuit in place what you need to do is disable that to reprogram the controller so the controller has been reprogrammed so let's go back to the Windows application reconnect don't worry about these figures so we know that they're wrong and we're using version 263 now so the controller has been updated so before we do anything else let's not change anything let's go to restore from file and yes we want to do this and yes we want to continue it will ask us where the file is so we'll navigate to where the file is now what it's going to do is reprogram the controller with all those settings and reprogram the windows application with all those settings as well so yeah click to save to eeprom and reboot so it's writing those to eeprom it's rebooted the controller it wants to exit the windows application so now we'll restart it and let's go connect so we would expect in here focus a position 471 max steps 18 200 step mode set to half and version number 263 so everything that that was in the controller prior to the upgrades being restored so 
that's how you do it with Windows.